Making me a hat band for my cowboy hat. While they're making belts and what did you say? Hat bands. <laughs> I'm making some more garlic toast. We're just gonna have leftover rotini bake tonight. We're gonna do the Philly cheesesteaks. We have a lot of that rotini bake left from last night. I just need to make some more garlic bread. And another reason I'm gonna wait on the Philly cheesesteaks is because I haven't gotten any more sub rolls yet. I still just have these that, you know, came from the Walmart bakery and they're like French bread, which is fine, but I don't really like these for the Philly cheesesteaks. So I'm just gonna make some little garlic bread boats here with this. I'm just saying boats because they're really big. And I already have the rotini bake in the oven. I just preheated it to 350, so it's just warming up in there. Or this can be a fine what you want not if people don't want the rotini bake, whatever. Uh, I better do one more, I better do one more, just in case. We need something fast tonight anyway, because after we eat and after we clean up, we're going to do something fun. It started out as a really rainy, windy day, and I thought it was gonna spoil the plans, but it didn't. Thankfully, the sun came out. It just rained a little bit. All right, we have the melted butter here. I'm just gonna put in a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of parsley flakes. Do y'all want cheese on these, or does everybody want no cheese this time? I'm just gonna use whatever cheese we already have Just put it on the floor in the middle. We'll leave these on the outside without the cheese. Okay. Garlic boots going in. There's the belt. And how do y'all like Titus's leather kit uh, container? I mean, look, every time he gets out his leather making stuff, he gets in the holiday spirit. Worked out good for something like that. Mm -hmm. It's the old popcorn tin. Which they used to be bigger than that. Do y'all remember? Yeah, those things like shrunk. Bristol. Yeah. <laughs> Little belt. What it is, it goes on his hat. It's not as good as my belt. Here's something new: a rotini bake garlic bread boat. Where are we going? Going to play putt putt. Intriguing? I thought we were going to play putt putt. One, two, three. Got it in three. I got a hole in one. Jonah got a hole in one already? I think he's the only one who got a hole in one last time. He's winning the game then. That's how we play. If you get a hole in one, you're winning. Yay! I did. <laughs> okay. Three. Is that your second hole in one? So you and Jonah, y'all are tied. Okay, they're tied. <laughs> the concentration is key. Oh, 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 oh. Almost. Almost. Manly is taking very extreme caution not to lose his ball this time. Yeah, how'd you get way up there? Oh, sweetie, you should have pulled that 
flag out, and you would have you would have did it. Do you feel like you're under the umbrella tree right here? Tyler has removed the flag. I feel that this could be not the one. Not the one. I love how Jonah calls them levels. We're at level 11 or 12 or something right now. <laughs> How'd you do that, Manny? Do it slowly. You do it slowly. slowly. Alright y'all, we've been back home now for probably a little over an hour. Everybody's been getting ready for bed, thank you. Jonah's getting me some eggs. We're going to make an overnight French toast bake. It's going to be like a split bake. So half of it is going to be a triple berry French toast bake. The other half is going to be a chocolate French toast bake. Okay Jonah, you got the eggs. I'm going to tell you the other stuff I'm going to need. I'm going to need the vanilla, uh, milk, and butter. Okay, so I'm gonna put the bread in this big bowl here. Once I get it cubed up, we'll just put it there. Thank you. I'm gonna do the cubes about that big. Okay, I got the teaspoon, the half cup, and what else? Um, tablespoon. I couldn't find a tablespoon one this morning or yesterday, whenever it was. I usually end up leaving my tablespoon thing or teaspoon inside of stuff like the baking. Oh, look, here's the tablespoon right here. <laughs> In the powdered sugar, you can get it out of there. That's what happens to them when I misplace them. I've left them in something when I was measuring it out. Okay, now what you can be doing, Jonah, is cracking all of the eggs into this clear bowl. All right, so Jonah's gonna whisk those eggs together, break up all the yolks. I'm gonna measure out two and a half cups of milk. When you get all the yolks broken up, then we'll start adding everything else in, okay? Okay, I'll make so. So tonight, all we have to do is make this egg mixture, pour it over the bread, and then we cover it and stick it in the refrigerator. In the morning, we'll make the toppings for each side. Jonah's gonna cover this. That's it for tonight. It's going in the refrigerator and we'll finish it up in the morning. Okay y'all, it's the next morning. We're gonna go ahead and make the topping now. So the topping for each side is gonna be a little different. For the first side, the mixed berry side, we're gonna put two tablespoons of cold butter in a little mini food chopper here. An eighth of a cup of all-purpose flour, a fourth of a cup of brown sugar, and a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. Okay, so that's it for the mixed berry side. We're just gonna chop that up real quick. So we're gonna go ahead and put this on half of the French toast bake. 
Now for the chocolate side, we need two tablespoons of cold butter, an eighth of a cup of flour, half a teaspoon of cocoa powder, and a fourth of a cup of sugar. And now we put it on this side. I'm just gonna put a few blueberries here and there, and some blackberries and raspberries. And then on the chocolate side, chocolate chips. Okay, so now we're gonna cover it. It's going in the oven. I have it preheated to 350. It's gonna go in there for about 20 minutes covered. Then I'll uncover it and let it cook for about 10 to 15 more minutes. While it's cooking, I'll clean up and start some laundry. Good morning. Look at that pepper. Well, there's a lot more, but look at that big one. We like to come out here and just play count the peppers. We got one, two, three, four. That thing's gonna be a fried green mater here in full on, mama. Mm -hmm. Boy, I love coming to this garden. <laughs> I want to leave it like this right here, just like this, so I can come in the garden sometime. Yeah. Where's Dad at? He's out there in the garden. <laughs> What's this right here, Mom? It's supposed to be a banana pepper. <laughs> smell good? I don't smell none of them. You said that some of them would really smell. This, this one smelled really strong when it was smaller, but touch the tomato plant and then smell. Really? They smell really strong. <laughs> Oh, that's a good smell, Mama. I'm gonna tell you something. Squatted down here in this garden. Mm -hmm. Let's come out here and smell my plants in the morning time. 